Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News. Today, we're diving deep into the vast, chaotic world of Helldivers 2, but this isn't just any overview. We're looking back after 200 hours of gameplay, exploring the evolution of the game, its lingering issues, and the magnetic pull that keeps us coming back, despite its flaws. So gear up soldiers, we're going into the war zone to uncover the truth behind a war that seems to lack a clear cause. The journey so far. When Helldivers 2 first launched, it was met with a mix of excitement and skepticism. Right out of the gate, the game faced criticism for server issues, balance problems, and a host of bugs and glitches. Despite these challenges, the game managed to captivate a significant audience, becoming a bestseller on Steam and a major talking point within the gaming community. Since its release, developers have rolled out patches aimed at fixing some of these problems, though not without introducing new ones. Through all this, I've soldiered on, completing war bonds, experimenting with every stratagem, maxing out my super destroyer, and even hitting the cap on all resources, all while guiding newbies through the ranks and snagging every achievement along the way. A persistent appeal. Despite the array of issues that plagued my initial review, I found myself continually drawn back to Helldiverse 2. The camaraderie, the thrill of exploration, and the satisfaction of overcoming the game's many challenges kept me engaged, even if each session grew shorter over time. The game's community began to notice the same issues I had pointed out, from broken mechanics to unfair gameplay dynamics. Yet here we are, still fighting the good fight. The game's persistent flaws. Helldivers 2 remains a complex beast, riddled with balance issues and glitches that range from minor annoyances to game-breaking problems. From quick play cues that don't work to crashes triggered by specific weapons, the list of grievances is long. And yet, the game's design choices, from its reliance on overwhelming numbers to the often irrelevant gear at higher difficulties, suggest a game that values grind over skill. Why keep playing? So what keeps us coming back? It's not just the mechanics or the gear, though the addition of new weapons and stratagems certainly helps. It's the sense of discovery, the shared victories and hilarious defeats, and the compelling narrative that mirrors the satirical brilliance of Starship Troopers. The game has a way of making each victory feel earned and each defeat a call to arms, urging us to dive back into the fray new content and continuing issues. Even as new updates bring additional content and address some issues, they also introduce new bugs like crashes when picking up snowballs. It's a reminder that, for all its fun and camaraderie, Helldivers 2 is still a game struggling with stability and balance. Final thoughts. After 200 hours, my views on Helldivers 2 are complex. The game is undoubtedly flawed, yet undeniably captivating. It's a testament to the game's core appeal that, despite its issues, many of us are still here, ready to jump back into the action. But as much as we enjoy the chaos and the challenge, it's clear that Helldivers 2 still has a long way to go in addressing its many issues. So to all the fellow soldiers out there, whether you're dropping into the war zone for the first or the hundredth time, keep your spirits high and your weapons ready. And to the developers, we're counting on you to keep improving this chaotic, captivating world we can't seem to leave behind. That's all for today's deep dive into Helldivers 2. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or a curious newcomer, there's no denying the unique charm of this tumultuous battle for the galaxy. Stay tuned for more gaming news, updates, and insights right here on Joystick News. Until next time, keep fighting the good fight, and remember democracy never dies, but you might, so watch out for those drop pods.